All right, today we're going to be going over how to make a praying mantis nymph cup. Uh, this can be for something probably L1, L2 at least. Um, what we have here is a container we found at our local Wawa. Uh, had pepperoni and cheese on it, just had to take the label off the top, and uh, seems like a really good size. Uh, the 32 ounce containers just seem really huge for the small L1 nymphs, so decided to go with this. So uh, pretty simple and easy to make. Uh, we'll start by just taking the lid off. We'll go ahead and get a, uh, a hole puncher. We'll get that in there. And we'll just uh, start going around, punching the holes. More holes, a little bit better ventilation, so go ahead and try to make as many as you can. I do a little bit of space in between them, but you got room for one more yet. Okay, there we go. Got a nice row of holes in there. We'll go ahead and put that off to the side. Next, we have a regular paper coffee filter. Um, I found that the cup lid is almost perfect with the center line that's already in here. So I'll go ahead and just take a scissors, cut that out right along the lines. I'll usually go just a hair bit to the inside of it. This is going to be uh, something that will allow ventilation still to go in and out, but at the same time you don't have to worry about uh, obviously the fruit flies that you'll feed your nymphs or anything like that getting out. Come all the way around there. Make it a decent circle. Okay, we'll go ahead and do a test fitting there. So as you can see you're just looking for something that's going to cover up everything in there. And that actually looks really good. Next, we'll go ahead and just take a simple glue stick. And all you're going to do is go ahead and get some glue in here. Come in between the holes. Every now and then I get a little bit on the holes, not a big deal. Come in between. And once all the way around the edge. Okay. Once you had and have that, you can go ahead and uh, place on your filter. Go all the way around. Move that out as best you can. Okay. Go ahead and just take this, get off some of this extra glue that came through. It'll dry, it goes on purple. And then all dries up. Okay, set that off to the side, bring back in our cup, and uh, right here what we have is just a, a cup full of the Eco Earth, which you can get by the brick at pretty much any pet store that says Reptile Supplies. I'm just looking to cover the bottom just to give something for the mantis to crawl around in if need be. Gives the fruit flies and whatnot a, a media on the bottom too. 
Not a need a ton. Good. Just add a little bit more. Why not add it all? There we go. Next thing, I got a small branch from outside to go ahead and make something for it to climb on. I'll go ahead and just start trimming this down to size. How about that? I'm going to try to leave. This is going to be for an L2 that we have right now, so I'm going to try to leave a few extra things for it to hang on. Okay, we'll go ahead and test fit that in there. Perfect. Get our lid. Put it on. That'll all dry. You'll have no fumes or anything. And there you go.